everyone, how's it going? Today we have a full body workout that's gonna target your whole body, your arms, your legs, your abs, pretty much everything. That's gonna burn about 300 to 500 calories depending on how hard you work for it, your age, your weight, your height, etc. So without further ado, <laughs> sound really old fashioned here, but let's just jump straight into it. We are gonna start with a four minutes warm up followed by four workout sets. Let's do this. First, we are going to start with arm swing for 30 seconds. This is just a warm up for your upper body. Next, let's do step in and out for a minute. Start slow, then increase the speed. This helps to warm up your legs and your body. Next, we have butt kickers. Kick your legs as high as you can. Now we are going to touch one leg with the opposite hand. We have 30 seconds of jumping jacks. This will heat up your body and you should feel like you're ready to smash this workout. Yes! Now we have side lunge just to stretch our adductors, getting ready to start the main workout. Now in 5 seconds, we are going to start our first set. The first exercise is lateral bounding. Take a big jump to the right and land softly and take another big step or jump to the left. This is going to bring your heart rate up straight away. Do it fast but in good form. For low impact, just take a step instead of a jump. The 
second exercise is high knee. Bring your knee up to your hips level as fast as you can. Make sure you squeeze your abs while you're doing this and don't forget to breathe. As always, you can modify this to a low impact version by just not jumping. In that case, just bring your knee up. The next exercise is 180 degrees squat, followed by another squat. This is going to burn so much but I know you can do this. Do it slow if this is too hard or just do a squat instead. Next, we have lateral jump. Jump both legs to the left and then to the right. This looks so easy but after all those squats, this move is not as easy as it looks. Now we have a 20 seconds break, then we are going to do this set again. Instead of just standing there, try to jog in place to keep your heart rate steady. Let's start with lateral bounding again. Make sure you take a big step or a big jump. A big big jump. Then we have high knee. Now we have 180 degree squat. Keep going guys. And now we have lateral jump. We have done two rounds of this. Good job guys, just one more round to go. Try to jog in place or just walk around. This helps to burn more calories. Now let's start with lateral bounding again. Next, we have high knee.
Now we have 180 degree squat, feeling the burn. And lastly, we have lateral jump. Jump, jump. Now we have a 20 seconds break before our second set. You can pause this video for a longer break, drink some water, but not too much. You don't want to feel the water bouncing in your belly. We are gonna start with single leg lunge with a jump. Bring one leg back and lunge down. Make sure your front knee doesn't pass your toes, then jump up, drive your knee up. Make sure you move your arms in this motion as well. This helps to work your upper body, but if this is too hard, like if jumping is too hard for you, then try the low impact version. Just do it without the jump. Now do the same on the other side. Make sure your core is engaged too. Now we have jumping jacks. Make sure you keep your body tight and engage every muscle group while you're doing this. This is not a difficult move so you can do it fast but make sure you engage your muscles, especially your core. Now we have front kick with rope bridge. So kick your leg in front of you as high as you can. Make sure you squeeze your abs. This move is really good for your lower abs. To make this move harder, pretend that you're climbing on a rope. This works your upper body, abs and legs. How good is that? Now we have a 20 seconds break. Try to jog in place guys, just a soft easy jog. Let's start again with single leg lunge with a jump. Now on to the other side. Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. A darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell. Jumping jacks now.
and we got front kick with rope reach. Now we are done with two rounds, just one more to go, I hope you are feeling great. Let's start our last round of this with single leg lunge with a jump. Now on to the other side. Now we got jumping jacks. Finally, we have front kick with rope reach. done with this set we're halfway there you've done really well guys now take a break you can pause this video for a longer break just make sure you come back okay you can take up to two minutes off now guys we have burpees with double kick this one is so fun but so challenging if you can't do a regular burpees with push-up then do it without the push-up and jump up with both legs like a double kick. This is a little challenging so start slow and as you get used to it then you can do it faster. Just make sure you land softly and don't hurt your knees. Next, we have standing bicycle crunch. Touch your elbow with your opposite knee. Make sure you squeeze your abs while you're doing this. skater jumps take a big jump to the right and bring your left leg behind you then do the same on the other side stay low and do it fast Next, we are going to take it easy here. Let's run in place and do it fast, as fast as you can. Maybe a sprint if you're keen for that. So that's definitely gonna burn heaps of calories. But again, know your limit guys. Don't push yourself too hard if you can't. I don't want you to pass out. We have a 
seconds break now and then we're gonna start this all over again Let's start with burpees with double kick If you can't do this version, then just do the easier burpees Now we have standing bicycle crunch Standing on the edge of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Skate the jump is next. And now we have running in place. We are almost done with this set. Just one more round, guys. We can do this. We have burpees with double kick again. Now standing bicycle crunch and remember to squeeze your abs. Now skate to jump. And lastly, we have running in place. Job in completing three out of four sets of today's workout. We just got one more last fresh set. Take a longer break if you need to, but if you're good to go, then just jog in place, just a slow jog. For the last set, we are focusing mostly on our arms and our abs. 
we have walk out to push up next. Make sure you keep your elbows in when you do the push up. If you can't do the push up, then just leave it. Just go back up and do the walk out only. Now we have spider plank. This is going to shape those abs. Bring your knee as close to your elbow as possible and squeeze those abs. We have mountain climbers straight away. Your arms might be shaking right now. If so, you can take a quick second break. If not, just continue, just smash this workout. Now the final exercise is bicycle crunch. This works the entire abs which is why I like doing this. That's awesome guys, this set is really quite hard because we've done a lot. If you're still here, you're doing amazing. Keep going. Let's start with walk out to push up again. If you can't do the push up, then just do the walk out only. Now we have spider plank. Then mountain climbers, here we go. If you need to take a little break over here, just go for it. Now we have bicycle crunch. Squeeze those abs. Just one more round to go guys, I'm going to give you some peace and quiet for the last round because you're probably sick of me talking. Let's do this.
Congrats for completing this workout guys. You can start to cool down by doing the child pose. This is really great to stretch out your abs and your arms and you know just your upper body. It makes you feel really really nice. Now get into the pigeon position and stretch out your glutes, your hips and your legs. You can also stretch out your quads by pulling your foot away like this. Then you can stretch out your hamstring and then do the same on the other side. Your time this is just a guide you can do them longer I normally do stretch for a little bit longer Now get into a downward dog position and stretch out your upper body and legs. You can do a little walk like this to just stretch out your legs. Get up and pull your arm across like so. Feeling so good. <laughs> and do the same on the other side. Again, you can do all these stretches for a bit longer. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're soaked in sweat. I've also created a new second channel for vlogs, so do check that out if you're interested. So thanks so much for working out with me and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!